This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We got Jay Hood in the building. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. Make sure you head over to my YouTube channel, man. Subscribe and go check out the Tales from the Hood vlog series, man. All right. Yes, sir. Okay, so uh, we got Kanye West. He dropped that documentary. I had a chance to check out, skim through it. We both skimmed through it. Uh, right, right. A lot of fluff in there. A lot of craziness. Oh, man. I don't even know where to unpack it. If you're watching it, if you have watched it, it probably gave you a little bit of anxiety because it's like only Kanye could pull this off. Most people would say, leave. Get My out. thing is this though, like, right? Are, are you surprised by any any of what you said? No, see? no, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not surprised. I'm just surprised that what made how did he construct his life so he could be be like this? He, whatever he did, he made the right moves because like you said, anybody else was to try some shit like would he be trying and pull it? Cent, anybody else kicked out oh, I, maybe maybe Jay-Z could get away with it. Uh, Diddy, uh, not even Diddy, because he doesn't have the selling power Kanye has. Yeah, Con- I, mean, I guess Jay Z, Kanye, who else could get away with it? It can't be too many people getting away with that because <laughs> it, it ain't gonna work. You have to have a fan base that pretty much buys anything you put out. A cult like following, you know? What yes. I mean? Uh. I mean, basically, he was saying in the meeting, hey, if you don't make if you don't fire yourself and make this guy CEO right now, mm-hmm. I don't even want to do this anymore. Right. And his methods. That he that he used during the meeting to get his point across. I'm not even going to say it was unorthodox. They were like. I'm not going to say crazy either because they were like, oh, he's trying to say he's crazy. But it was a ty- it was t- like a tyrant. Right, right. It was a God complex tyrant thing. Like, hey, you guys don't get it. This is what it back, is. I know in the back of their minds of the people who attended that meeting, they were like, yo. Oh, my goodness. Like, what's, what's this dude's deal for real? Like, they were like, they were probably, they're probably crunching numbers right now. Like, do we need this? Yeah, then, then somebody's like, yeah, we do, we do. Dude, you play a porno on your phone in the middle of a business meeting with Adidas to to, to make a point. That it's uncomfortable. Dude, it's like, it's a million other ways you could have got that point across. <laughs> you, you, you playing a porn in the meeting. You could Dude. just say, hey, how would you feel like if a Nike just knocked off all your stuff with the stripes and everything? Right, right. But no, he had to play a porn and say, don't you feel uncomfortable? That's how I feel. I mean, yes, yeah, so, so many. Did you see? Wait, wait. Did you even see? At one point, he was like, "Yo, it kind of sounds like you on this tape." Yeah, he said, "You guys, you guys got kind of like the same uh, voice or something like that." I know that made dude uncomfortable for real. He's probably like, "Yo, what? Hey, yo, what? yo, What's but going did, on here? did you see the part where he was like, "Yo, so I'm gonna write here, uh." Yeah, he wants this, and all I want you to do is say yes. And they were like, well, and he's like, bye. And he just gets his phone and walks out. He's like, see ya. It's given, it's given temper tantrums. Exactly. <laughs> Dame real. Dash on another level. Right. Because Dame Dash temper tantrums were legendary. Oh, de- almost definitely. But you know what? You're going to have people out there that's trying to, that's going to try to justify you know, his actions and everything that he does, though. You know what I mean? Those are the people who can't see past the fandom. Yeah. From a realistic standpoint, like, but. This is Dame Dash right here, because remember Dame Dash had choke, no joke, following him everywhere. Kanye yeah. now has a guy following him and filming everything. Oh, yeah. He's like, yo, we'll watch, come in this meeting. I ain't having the meeting unless we can film it. Dame Dash just walked into that at one meeting in Def Jam. It was the same thing. Mm-hmm. And then this is the thing, right? You got people out here that's going to associate his behavior with being a genius. Oh, of course. Because he's going to get what he wants because he's Kanye. Right. And in They're all actuality, cave. that has absolutely nothing to do with being a genius. That's just like you you, you, you basically tossing your weight around. There's only – he's going to win another way. If they terminate the deal, he wins because now he can do the shoes on his own. He's already figured out how they do it. Mm-hmm. So he makes more money. And then – if they just go along with it, he wins too, because he just makes more money. 
But in my mind, I I I think he wants to terminate the partnership. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong, but to to me, the way I'm viewing things and the, and the things that I'm hearing, it's like he has to want to terminate it because he wouldn't take it as far as he took it with some of the things that he's saying right now. If that wasn't yeah. the case, you know what I'm saying? Because with some of the stuff that he's saying, you know, it's consequences. You know, with saying certain things, you know what I mean? Like you, oh, lose, yeah. you lose partnerships, you learn, you you lose fr- um relationships. Like it's, it's all kind of stuff that that comes with your actions. So. Yeah. Draymond Green punched a guy and lost everything right now. He's lo- he's lost all of his endorsements. Kanye's in there showing pornos, talking about different uh, religions, right? And people. He's fine. He's uncancelable. Man, it's because of the the people, his followers. Man, they just like you can't do nothing wrong in their eyes. It doesn't matter what he does. It's, it's like, pretty bro. nuts, bro. It's like I'm enjoying the show, mm-hmm. but there's an we all like to see someone self destruct as well. Fifty Cent said that a long time ago. Remember, he said uh, he said everyone self destructs at one point, mm-hmm. and people like the show, and we're all enjoying this show. But courtesy of the internet, yeah, and it's gonna be this doesn't have a good ending. Man, I'm not gonna lie. At, at some at some some point, I could see him having a mental breakdown. Oh, I could see. This is what's gonna happen. One day he's gonna wake up. He have alienated his whole family, so he has no real family. He realizes everyone around him is just paid minions, right? Right. And all he has is himself and his money. And you know what? That's not a life. I honestly believe it's 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 two different. It has to be one of two things, right? One, all of this is like a, a an act, and he's just really doing everything that he's doing to manipulate not only the internet but to manipulate the people that he's having these meetings with and everyone. Can I chime with. in right there for a second? Because that reminds me of something you said in the documentary. He said, "I hope one day." I can sell all this stuff without having to be in the news every day. That goes to your point. Right. So it has to be either he's sitting back saying, you know what? If I just act this certain way, it's going to contain shock value. It's going to go viral on all these different sites and everybody's going to gravitate towards it. And they're going to be talking about me like I'm crazy. I'm going to stay in the headlines. Yeah. So either he figured that out. So he just playing along with it or either he really believes the stuff that he's saying. Yeah. It's like one of the two. I think it's a, I think it's a health, well, I think it's an unhealthy mix of both, <laughs> like not a healthy mix. It's an unhealthy mix of both. You might be right. Um, then he's at his daughter's basketball game, which I don't, you know, it's like he previewing music in the car. He's, he's and a wild boy. You, you try to get the, the sports agency and you elect. Antonio Brown is the president of oh, yeah. Like, yo, dude, like, what are you doing? Like, and Antonio you... Brown's out here, like, being accused of this and that. Antonio Brown is a nutcase. But they're That's perfect for each other. Case. Huh? Oh, did you see him walking around the school? He's like, and they're designing the school, and he's like, at the Donda school, we have no stairs. We have no ramps. We have no bars. Dude. We have no lights. We have no lights and natural air. What are you talking about, man? Yo, yo, bro, I'm all for expressing creativity on, you know, of, of your art on every level. Yeah. But when I seen him demand Gap to sell his clothes out of a trash bag in the store, I knew something was really off. I'm like, something. Can you imagine if you worked at that Gap and you had to keep put, folding them clothes and putting them back yeah, in? Yeah, the- like, no, no, no. Just put all my clothes in a big garbage bag and just. I want my collection like that. Everything's going to be over here in the garbage yeah. bag. Yeezy? Yeah, that's over there. Where at? I don't see it. It's in that garbage bag right there. Just dig through it. You'll find your size, man. Like, what? It's going to be all wrinkled. Yeah, like, I mean, but that's how the clothes look anyway. It's wrinkled. It's holy. <laughs> it should, you know what I mean? Like, come on. It's like, it's like a swap meet. Right. <laughs> These are clothes that look like you didn't 
you didn't use these clothes to wash your car with it and all that. Like, yo, bro, you, and you selling it for thousands. Like, man, you don't get out of here. I yo. never owned a pair of Yeezys in my life. And never? I, never? I never did either. I own the, the Adidas ones that they had out kind of around the same time. Only way I would rock a pair of Yeezys if someone purchased them for me. Like, me spending my own money, though? Nah, never. It's too much money for right. shoes. I'm sorry. I mean, and then... uh. Here's one part of the documentary. I don't know if you saw this. He was in there and he's like, called someone at the other office, right? He's like, mm-hmm. I want to set the office up here. Everybody grab a sewing machine, grab all the patterns and move them down. I want to see you in 30, 30 minutes. I want to see you in 30 minutes. They want to move a whole office. Mm-hmm. So think about working for this guy. At any point, you might have to pack your computer up and box it up within 10 minutes and be in your car and headed to a new office. It absolutely has to be a headache. A pr- the productivity is at an all-time low at that point. Yeah, man. It's like, that has to be beyond difficult, being an employee of his. But I heard, I, I mean, I've heard, just like you've heard, though, people saying the exact same thing. Like, it was kind of hard working with him. You know what I mean? Like, And I'm yeah. talking about from a music aspect. I didn't hear, like, musicians and rappers, like, yeah, it's kind of hard working with him. So you could just imagine the people oh. within the fashion world who's, you know, working for his company and all that. Dude, he's a nightmare. Remember when he lived in Mercedes-Benz Stadium? Mm-hmm. And he said, I'm going to finish the album here. Like, why? What? What? Dude, and I, I'm... Everyone, everyone that's sitting here probably listening to us, they probably... You guys are probably like, oh, my God, they're sitting there trying to nitpick at everything. He's a billionaire. He's a billionaire. You know, I love yeah. it when people go with that. We're not talking about how much money he has. Right, right. We're talking about... Elon Musk lives in his place because he's running five businesses, right? Elon Musk doesn't own a house, does he? Then he said he he sold it, right? Yeah, to pour all the money into his businesses. I think he has a house. He obviously has houses for his kids, bro. Like, but um, here's the thing, man. Elon, I remember in that interview uh, on something, he was, they asked him about Elon Musk or something. He was like, Yes, uh, he acted like he was equals with Elon Musk when like not many people would be equals with Elon Musk because you'd have to be insane. He's in, he's a he's insane. Like Elon Musk is very so smart that he's insane. You know, like he understands how things work at a different level and how to get things done. Kanye, you're nowhere near Elon Musk. He figured out how to build a car, manufactured himself without going through a major car company he didn't have to go off a ford or something else he made his own and sold it that's incomparable like i mean don't get me wrong the, the yeezys i mean i hats off for launching yeah but that. it goes through adidas man that would be like you know i must going through ford or right, right. that's yeah. why my, my whole point for bringing that up is like it's no comparison to right tulsa 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 how the hell you tesla, tesla yeah tesla and yeezys you know what i mean it's like right It's, I, I applaud him for, uh, he's great at music and putting music together with, you know, his He people. manipulates the hell out of the internet and his followers. And it's like, yo, when, yeah. like, for instance, right, when he put out there that yo, I'm worth seven. Matter of fact, I don't, did he say it? He had to say, matter of fact, he said the Forbes had it, had his, uh. His oh, yeah. Name. He wants oh. to be worth more. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And people just ate that up without. Nobody wants to be worth more. Look, because without, without, with, you're without telling on yourself. Evidence without anything. They're like, oh, now well, he worth $8 billion. He's the richest black man in America. Why, like, yo, bro, did you guys even, like, take the time out of your day to, like, actually do the research on it and yeah. look it up and then look, think about this logically? You know what I'm saying? Like, just because yeah. he said that, y'all just going to yeah. run with it and take it for face value? Yeah. Like, bro, it sounds good. Yeah. But unfortunately... It's not reality, you know. What I mean, not saying no. that he's not a billionaire, but I'm sure he's a billionaire. He, but you don't he, just go up in crimp increments of three billion when you're dealing with clothing. When you're dealing with Elon Musk and you're being traded on the stock market and everything. Now, granted, Kanye did have stock in Gap and he has stock in stock in Adidas, but mm-hmm. they weren't fluctuating like that. Maybe during the shutdowns and everything, when the stock market was going crazy. Mm-hmm. was maybe at one point worth 
four billion, right? But those stocks have corrected now. The stock market's down like twenty percent, thirty percent. And on top of that, like you said, and it's not its own mother entity. It's, it's running through Adidas. Yeah. Now, granted, he does have stock in Adidas, and he does have stock in Gap, but I don't know if he has stock in Gap anymore. They terminated that relationship, so I don't know what happened. Like, it didn't last that long. Right, right. I mean, and in the, in the actual line wasn't even hot. It was hot for his followers. That was it, but it didn't make... It made it brought a lot of attention to Gap, but Gap's right back to where they were when he left. He didn't make he didn't leave it better, and that's what when you go to a place you want to leave it better, right? Than where you found it, and he didn't. He would just used it as a pipeline to pipe out his. I think he did the deal because Adidas wasn't going to do everything he wanted to do. Like I want to do jackets, I want to do this, and they're like, "Well, hold on, let's do the sneakers." And then he was like, "I'm going well, to go over here and do this." Yeah, yeah right. No, yeah. Makes- Definitely makes sense. It's it. It was a glimpse. This was a glimpse into how erratic he is in every way. Like, think about being married to him. This is just a day with him, right? A day or a week. Imagine right. Kim Kardashian. I want to move to Chicago. I want to move to Wyoming. I want to move here. I want to move the kids in this school. Like, that marriage was doomed, bro. I even though don't like black women, huh? Kanye don't like black women. Do you think so? I mean, I'm just saying that. Because... Are you just saying the George Bush line thing? <laughs> yeah, but I'm just, <laughs> I'm just flipping it because I really think you don't, though. But yeah, possible. I mean, he always wants to be different and be think he's better. I don't, you know, and different works yeah. for him. But we have to be, we have to keep seeing this in the news feed and stuff. Yeah. You know, so there's, there's nothing wrong with being different, though. You know what I'm saying? But all good. When you're when you're going out your way to try to be different, it's cringy. Yeah, it's cringy. It's most funny, people, but it's also cringy at the same time. Most people that are different, they're just naturally different, and you could yeah. just look at them and tell that they're different. You know what I mean? Like the way they think, the way they act, the way they live is just you'd be like, okay, that do that dude is different. Versus the things that he's doing, you'd be like, man, he's just yeah. He's, you know what I mean? He, he's he's trying really hard to be different. Yeah, and he granted he inspires a lot of people to show this is possible and this and that. But granted, also he's destroying a lot of people's lives, like Kim, his kids. It's hurting them too. Oh yeah, they have to have more security at the school for the kids now because of all the comments he's been saying the past week. You know that, right? His the things he does is unorthodox. You post text messages like it's no privacy with your family. Like you, yeah. he posts every single thing. Yeah. That has to be like a nightmare for real. And that's just because he's trying to win in the public eye. He's trying to get people to sympathize with him. Yeah, sympathy is a sympathy is a hell of a thing. But you know, the thing is, everyone isn't sympathizing with him though, because at this point, yeah. you know, a lot of people are just growing fatigue of his whole. Yeah. You know, I'm not cycle. gonna say yeah. the cycle. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It shows how lonely he is to post everything. He needs the feedback from his followers. I need. Mean, it's like it's given. I need public validation. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, it's whether it's unconsciously or just consciously, he needs it. Yeah. It's actually pretty sad because he can't be. Like, when Elon Musk do something, and I'm, I, I hate to keep comparing it to that, but it's like he's not looking for validation from the people. He does what he thinks and he makes it. And if it fails, it fails. Right, right. Um, I, I, I don't think I don't think Elon Musk is a hero by any chance. I just think that he is Rocket Man. He is uh the individualist though. Yeah, but he's done like the impossible. He's really like Tony Starks. Oh yeah, definitely. He became I've... Tony Starks, which is pretty cool. But I think he's also the demise. A lot of things that he preaches against, like we're underpopulation in this. You're making mm-hmm. robots to replace people. Uh you're you're making it so people don't I, I get I know what Tesla's end goal is, it's just to own auto driving you know like to get all the data it's a data collection imagine mm-hmm. how much data is that data is worth that he's collecting there's cameras on your car it's being sent back to tesla you're mapping out the whole nation form for auto for self-driving cars and self-driving trucks you know that's crazy um he's making ai that will destroy people's jobs right you know so this is really 
the destruction. He's destroying America at the same time. He's very smart, but it's he he knows in his mind robots are more efficient than people. They're going to get replaced. So what's going to happen then? And then when you have the 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 the, the person that's the most wealthiest in your country is the smartest. Yeah. They're one of the smartest. It's like that's a dangerous thing. You know yeah. what I mean? As far as Kanye, I think like the people that really care about him, as far as like I'm not going to call them friends or family or whatever that whatever type of people that he has that cares about him. I think like they keep him at an arm's reach. Yeah. Because he's one of those dudes like you you have to love him from a distance. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't yeah. like really be around him like that because he's just too, you know, like I said, out there and he's everything is unorthodox with him. You know what I'm saying? I e Jay Z and all the other motherfuckers. I mean, excuse me, all the other people. They yeah. they rock with him, but they like. Hey, right. Oh well, um, we'll wrap it up there because we could talk about Kanye for an hour. <laughs> but that goes to say, that says a lot too. <laughs> Yeah, you can go on and on and on and on. Yeah, but uh, anyways, hood. So, uh, I'll... listen, man. Um, like I said at the very first beginning of this uh this episode, listen, I need everybody to go to my YouTube right now. All right, check me out. Make sure you subscribe, man. Tell us from the hood vlog series. I'm telling dope stories of my experiences in the um in the rap industry, and for up and coming artists, it's something that you're gonna want to hear. So please go check me out. I appreciate you. Mm-hmm. Back to the YouTube. This is Jordan Tower with JT News, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Peace. This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We got Jay Hood in the building. You already know what it is, man. Make sure that you uh, check me out on my YouTube channel. Make sure you stream. Ah, man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> yeah, I said. <laughs> you got it. Ah, man. Ready? Right.